everybody welcome back to the she shed today's tutorial is going to be on this beautiful ribbed beanie it looks like it's knitted but it is crochet and you can either wear it down and have it like a slouch beanie or wear it rolled up and that's the way I prefer to wear them this is made out of pure wool but you can make them any um, any wool you like, any colour, any yarn at all that you like. If you want it cotton, go cotton, acrylic, acrylic blend, whatever you like, whatever colour you like, purely up to you. It is exactly the same technique. You just need to make sure your hook is right and that you have enough yarn. So let's get started. I'm going to be using this yarn for this one today and uh, this is from Lincraft uh, it, the brand is I don't know how do you say that Maka <laughs> Veronica is the name of the um, group of wool I've, it comes in all variety of different uh, colors is uh, says it's a seven millimeter hook so I'm going to go up one size and do it with an eight millimeter hook this will mean this will be super quick super fast beanie to make so let's get started I will be using my eight millimeter hook uh, but I'm always starting my foundation chain sorry my chain with my uh, a hook size up so I'm using a nine millimeter hook okay start off with a slip knot and then getting your larger hook so in my case this will be my nine millimeter hook chain as many as required from let me see can I get from the top of your head down to however far you would like to go if I'm going to measure this to my head um, well let me see I'm not sure how many um, stitches it's going to be it's quite a chunky yarn so every time I make one of these I'm always measuring I don't go by oh it's a four millimeter yarn so it's you know 42 stitches always no every yarn is different so therefore I will measure every single yarn when I do this All right. and you start eyeballing and getting an idea so I'm now measuring from the top of my head down to my neck that's a bit long my one's a bit long so let's take off a few stitches yeah that that seems about right so this is going from the top of my head to my neck because I want a big turn up on this one okay so that ends up for me being one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 stitches. And I am using a chunky yarn with chunky needles, so therefore that's going to be a quick workup. Obviously, it's more stitches. Uh, the thinner your yarn is. So to start off your beanie you've changed your hook over so I'm working now with my 8mm hook chain one and you're going to be doing every stitch into the V so make sure the V's are facing you not the lumpy back you want the V's facing you so put your hook into the V grab your hook through sorry grab your yarn through yarn over pull through the two so put your yarn into the V grab your yarn and pull it through grab yarn over and pull through the two so hook through the V grab your yarn and pull it through 
yarn over, pull through the two. Hook through the V, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over and pull through the two. Yarn through the V, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through the two loops on your hook. Through the V, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through the two on your hook. Coming to the end of this row, keep working as you have been and when you come to the last stitch it's the same as the others, just going into that stitch and pull through. And there we go, there's our first, our first row. Row 2. Okay, chain one and turn. Now for this row and for every other row after this, you will be working into the back of the stitch. So there's the V and you will be working through that V into the back loop. So there is the V, your hook goes into the V taking up the back loop and you will be working every stitch that way from now on until you finish the beanie. So still doing single crochet, go into the first stitch, not your chain stitch, the first stitch going into that V taking up the back loop, pull your yarn through yarn over, pull through two, into that back stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and that leaves the front of the stitch showing which gives you that ribbed look. So we are going into the V, the back of that loop, there, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Once again into that V, go into the back part, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the two on your hook. One more time, Okay, so this is what you will be doing on this row and every single row until you have come to the width that you require to fit around your head or the person you're making this for. So you just keep working each row, keep measuring around your head or the person you're making it for head until you have the right width. The last stitch, same V, you're working exactly the same as the others, so into that back of that stitch, pull the yarn through, uh, yarn over, pull through the two and there we go, we've finished row two. Row th every other row, exactly the same, chain one, turn, work into the first stitch, not the chain stitch. And continue. To measure is really easy, just line it up from the top of the head down to the bottom and just wrap it around the person's head 
until they join together. Don't make it too tight. Make sure there's still enough room and it's comfortable. If it's too tight, the person's not going to want to wear it. So I'm going to continue working up and I will meet you back here when I've got my desired width. So I will see you back here very shortly. All right, so I have finished making my width of my beanie as wide as I'd like to go around the head. Here is where I finished up. And here is where I started. Now you want to finish your row where you the opposite side of where you started so here's where I started here's where I finished and as you can see they're opposite ends and then fold it in half okay so you've got where you started down the bottom and where you finished up at the end here and we are going to join these two sides together with a slip stitch all the way down so you need to marry up your stitches from both sides all the way down. It's quite simple to do and this is a really neat finish because it will just add to your ribs and it's really quite hard to see where you finished. So get your yarn up at the top and you want to make sure you are going right at the very top into your first stitch. So put your hook in and then just bring your yarn through that stitch and through the other stitch and there's your first slip stitch. Go to the next stitch, put your yarn through the middle of the V and then you will see the corresponding stitch right here. Bring it through there. Now yarn over, pull your yarn through and bring it through all the loops on your hook. Go to your next stitch. Okay, and then the next one on here. And the reason why I hold it like this instead of like like forward is because I can find I can see the stitches here a lot easier and there's the next one yarn over pull through all the loops on your hook okay next stitch going in there corresponding on the other side is there and then bring through and that's your slip stitch so going through and then through and through all. Okay, got the last couple of stitches to go. There we go. All right, so leave enough yarn. Um, what I do is go around the rim. This is going to be the top of your hat, so I leave enough to go around once. Cut that off and then bring it through the loop and pull through and there we go we finished it off up the top all right so seam is done there we go Alrighty. so get your yarn needle all right thread your yarn needle any yarn needle you can use that will fit the yarn that you're using okay and then just slip backwards and forwards through the stitches as close to the top as you can go I try and go through your stitches because you're going to be pulling this to close up the top and of course I pulled it out Go. so as close to the top as you can get it and 
and go all the way around till you come to the end. Don't pull it completely tight yet. All right, I've come to the end. Okay, so this is going to be the inside. So we can pull this really tight. So we're closing up the hole. The other side is going to become the inside, uh, the outside, sorry, which is much neater. This seam looks much neater when it's turned around. So we want this to be the inside. And therefore we want to do all our sewing this side. So pull it tight and then just sew, sew your hole closed. Now if you're using a delicate yarn, be a bit you know, wary about pulling it too tight and ripping your yarn apart. Make sure you've got that hole closed. Looks like I've got it there. And you can go backwards and forwards as many times as you like. When you are happy with that, just go back through your loop And I do that a couple of times just to make sure it's secure. Go back through my loop. Pull tight. There we go. That's the finished beanie. So as you can see, I think the seam is there. It's quite difficult to see it. So, and that's what I love about that join. It's really hard to see the seam. So I think the seam's there. All right, and then you can turn, well, you can turn it up like that or have it down low. And there you we go. Super, super simple beanie. Easy as you can use any yarn that you like, any at all. Just make sure that you have the right width around your head, that it's the right length to your head, and you have the matching hook to go with your yarn. And you can whip up a few of these in a day. That only took me an hour and a bit to make. All right, well, I'll leave you with that. If you do make up your own beanies, I'd love to see your photos. Um, otherwise, I will see you next time at the She Shed. Thank you, everyone. See ya. Mm -hmm.